My character, Mr. Wolf, has triangular ears, a triangular snout, a rectangular neck. Those are the collars for his shirt, the knot for his tie. The tie is kind of a long quadrilateral rectangular glasses. Got a little smile there. I always draw five fingers on each hand. You could have them waving or giving the peace sign. Mr. Wolf has a belt. Rectangular legs. Let's put a shadow underneath him. Maybe a shadow along the edges of his body. Just some lines to add some extra texture and some depth. And then you could make his mouth open and have him some, give him something to say. And that's how you draw Mr. Wolf. Next, we're going to draw Margot. Margot is a rabbit. She's got a circular head with long ears on top. The ears just go straight up. Circular eyes. Triangular nose. Let's just give her a kind of classic smile. Give Ran, uh, give Margot a, a t-shirt. Maybe I'll put her hand on her hip. I draw five fingers for the characters, but sometimes you can't see all five. I'm gonna give Margot a heart, you could fill that in or color it. Let's give Margot pants, rectangular pants. And then for shoes, just kind of these oval shapes. And then you could do a little dip in there, a little U to show the ankle cut. Um, could be laces. Let's give Margot a shadow underneath. And then maybe Margo is thinking something. Let's give her a thought to think. Hmm. I love school. Do a cloud around the thought. And then a couple little circles to go down to her head so we know she's thinking it. And that's how you draw Margo. Now let's draw Samson. Samson is a frog with a oval head, but I always start with the two eyes that come out on top first. We've got a big oval head with two bulging eyes out on top. Uh, for simplicity, we could just do lines for eyes. And let's give Samson a big grin. So, kind of like a slice of a lemon or a slice of a me melon. Samson wears this hoodie with a skull on top of it. Um, and let's have... Maybe one hand is in the pocket of his hoodie, and the other hand is out making a peace sign. Saying peace, yo.
Um, I do the skull shape first, two circles, a triangle, and then I do two lines, like two little rectangles down there, and then I fill in the negative space. which becomes positive space, I guess, depending on how you look at it. Um, now let's give Samson, let's give him some shorts. I haven't drawn a character in shorts yet. Uh, two kind of square shapes going down, uh, some rectangles coming down, um, socks, kind of two more little rectangles. And then um, I'm gonna do tennis shoes or as they say in the UK, trainers. Oh, we can give them some stripes on the socks. And then you could fill in the shorts. Maybe they're all black shorts, or maybe they're another color. Samson is a green frog, you color Samson in green. And then maybe he's not saying anything, and he's just standing there you could give um, some expression, kind of flash lines behind him. And that's how you draw Samson. Now we're gonna draw Aziza, whose name is a palindrome. It's the same forwards and backwards. I always start with Aziza's eyes and then she's a duck. So I give her this kind of long duck bill. Let's give her a smile. It's kind of a kidney shape. It's just kind of a organic looking shape. Uh, and then I circle her face for her hijab or her head covering. And then I do another line around that. And it kind of flares out on the side um, to go over her shoulders. I draw another line there. And then I'm gonna draw one arm going down. And then let's do another arm. Let's have this one on her hip again, kind of like Margo. <clears throat> um, let's have her shirt and her skirt be separate. So I draw a line there. And then this sh skirt's kind of like a bell shape or a trapezoid. And then some pants, some legs coming down. Uh, and then I can do some feet, which are kind of those kind of duck bill kidney shapes again, or uh, kind of these oval shapes. Um, you could give um, Aziza some patterning on her clothing. It could be dots to show a pattern. Give me some lines on the side to show some shadow. Um, maybe I put some shadow there in her pants. And then maybe she's saying something. Let's give her something to say. So I'm gonna open her mouth, put a little tongue in there, extend it a little bit. <clears throat> and she could be saying, um, what could she be saying? She could be saying, uh, I love pizza. Maybe it's pizza day at school. All right, and that's how you draw Aziza. Now we're gonna draw Randy. Randy is a cat. She's got triangular ears on the top of her head and an oval or circle kind of shaped face. Um, let's give Randy some happy closed eyes. Those are upside down U shapes. Randy's got a, a triangular nose that has, <clears throat> it's flat on top. And then let's give her a big grin. And maybe just smiling, yeah. Um, let's give Randy a tank top. And I'm going to have her arm coming out like she's really happy and expressive about 
her joy. I make lots of mistakes. Um, if you make a mistake doing this, totally cool, because that's how we learn. Um, let's give her some stripes on her tank top. Now, Randy wears leggings with cowboy boots. And I kind of draw these like shorter, like almost like you're drawing shorts. And then they go into the cowboy boots. And the cowboy boots have this boot flare kind of cut at the top. And at the bottom, they've got a heel and then a pointed toe. I draw just a few lines down each side to kind of indicate there's maybe some stitching on the boot. Um, I could give some lines here to show she's wearing like um, black tights or leggings. And Randy has dots. I'm not sure what they are. People think that she's a hairless cat and that could be true. Like this is kind of stubble or something like the hair follicles. Um, up close, but I don't know. It's just a, a pattern. Uh, and that's Randy. She's pink. You can color her in. And she loves Venn diagrams and jokes. Anyway, that's how you draw Randy. Let's draw Abdi now. Abdi, whose full name is Abdi Kadir, is a cat. Very similar to Randy. He's got a triangulars, triangular, triangular ears at the top of his head. Let's give him his eyes open. Two round eyes with dots in there. Triangular nose. Let's give him just a little smile. Now, he doesn't have dots on his body, but he does have um, kind of these stripes, almost like tiger stripes. There's two on that side and one on the top. Give him a little eyebrow raised. Um, and now I'm gonna do his neck. Let's give him just a t-shirt. Uh, let's put one arm going down, hand on the hip. And this arm, I don't know, maybe let's do both our hands on the hip. Rectangular body. Um, he could be wearing shorts. He's kind of one of those kids who always wears shorts, even when it's snowing outside. Um, tennis shoes. Or athletic shoes of some sort. Abdi, in the first book, is a big video game player, but I don't really explore that later. Um, I kind of make him more of a sports kid. And you can be both, obviously. Uh, so I'll have to figure out how to incorporate that into um, the stories. All right, and that's how you draw Abdi. There we go. All right, this is my favorite character. This is Penny. Penny is a pig, and the way I draw pigs is I give these two little ears on top of a rectangle and a long snout with a circle and two little nostrils on the end. Um, let's give Penny some eyes, and maybe she's looking off to the side. Let's give her a smile and a couple lines on the very top of her nose. Now, Penny usually wears the same kind of dress. Um, she doesn't have a lot of variety in her clothing. Um, let's give her a hand raised up. She's happy about something. And her dress is just kind of like a bell shape. It's a long bell. So we've got to do her other arm and her hand. And it goes down, so like it gets wider at the bottom. Uh, Usually I have Penny wearing socks that are kind of going up to her knee. And then she just wears these kind of plain flat, flat shoes that kind of extend out a little bit. And that's how you draw Penny. 
Um, she's a big fan of the rats in Mr. Wolf's class. Uh, she doesn't look sleepy, but she's often sleepy. Maybe today she's like so happy that she's like feeling good. So she could be saying something like, I'm awake. Like, wow, I got a good night's sleep. Her baby brother didn't wake her up. Um, there we go. That's how you draw Penny, my favorite character in Mr. Wolf's class. Next, we're going to draw Abdi's best friend, Henry. Henry is a dog. And to draw this dog, I do kind of... Um, I don't know, kind of an L shape. And don't forget to do an ear on the other side. Two circle eyes. Give him a smile. His neck comes down. Um, I'm gonna put him in a hoodie. So I do kind of like a neckline. And then the hood kind of just kind of envelops that. Just kind of goes around in a V shape. There's two sides to the V. And maybe Henry is got one hand arm going up, one arm going back. Like, oh, like it looks like he's kind of pretending like he's flying or something. Maybe he's running. And hand up, hand up. Uh, for a hoodie like this, I kind of just draw two pocket holes. And there's some tassels for the hood, drawstrings. Uh, where are his legs? Well, let's have him run. So I'm going to do one leg going up. And he's got shorts on like Abby because this kid doesn't dress for the weather because he runs hot. Cause he's always running around. Uh, so one leg going up, one leg going back. Um, pocket for the shorts. Draw like a shadow underneath. Now Henry's a Dalmatian, so you can just kind of put, put some little black squiggles on there somewhere. Sometimes I don't get it exactly in the same spot every time. Maybe he's running for a catch. Maybe he's trying to play football. And he says, I'm open. Throw it to me. He's going to go score a touchdown. And that's how you draw Henry. Next, let's draw a character that doesn't get as much time in the books that I often hear from kids who really want to, her to be more in the books. Let's draw a character named Molly. Um, I'm starting with Molly's head, just like Henry. She's a dog, but she's got like, sometimes she wears like barrettes or hair clips. And she's got three kind of points, soft points to her ear. And let's give her a smile. Uh, Molly, uh, let's we can give her let's give her a tank top. And maybe she, just like Henry, is running. But this time I'm gonna put one arm up. Whoops, I only drew four fingers. Oh no. No big deal. Maybe the other finger is just not visible. Um, so when I have a character running, sometimes I put their arms in opposite positions. So one arm going down and up, one arm going back and down. Uh, let's give Molly, she's just running in pants. And what kind of shoes? She's got these like cool shoes in the first book um, that light up. Um, and it's hard to draw the details in a small drawing like this, but you can kind of add some 
a layer to that. Maybe um, her pants have um, a pattern on them, like polka dots or just a few dots here and there, just to give her clothing a little variety. Uh, and then maybe her, her tank top, um, maybe that too is a polka dot thing, but it's got small dots. So instead of doing those big, large dots far apart, I'm doing small dots. Maybe that has a nice effect, I don't know. Kind of makes me think of it as like a sequin shirt, maybe it's like glittery. Okay, that's how you draw Molly. Let's just give Molly uh, like a grin. She's running, I can do some motion lines. And yeah, all the characters in my, my books, they wear different clothes. So uh, they don't have like a uniform like you might see with some characters in books. Uh, they're always different. Because that's how kids are, right? You wear different clothes some days. All right, let's do another dog character. This time let's draw this dog looking to the left. Oh, I forgot to tell you who this is. Uh, let's write their name now. This is Oliver. Oliver is a sandy colored dog uh, with the same kind of ear as Henry. Uh, Oliver often wears collared shirts over sweaters. So I draw that kind of collar over the sweater. And let's have one arm going down. And the other arm, maybe the other arm is just going up like that. And just kind of rectangles. And you could even draw like the bottom of the shirt coming out the collared shirt. Um, now let's put him in pants. Oliver's feet. So you notice I don't draw animal feet. I usually put them in shoes. Um, and I don't do tails. So there's some animal characters I would love to have in this book, but because I don't draw tails, it's hard to know what kind of animal it is. So if you think about a character that's really defined by its tail, like a peacock, um, or um, a squirrel, it's kind of hard to draw them if I don't draw the tail. Like it's hard to identify them. Anyway, this is how you draw Oliver. Oh, let's do one more detail. I'm going to draw a ball bouncing in the background because he likes to play four square. And I'll just draw this kind of like red rubber ball and uh, I'll write the word bounce just in case you don't understand what's going on now you do in a shadow for the ball that's how you draw Oliver let's draw Stuart now Stuart is Oliver's best friend but they often get in arguments but then they resolve them Stuart is kind of a mouse uh, he's got two big kind of Mickey Mouse ears, triangular nose like Mr. Wolf. Give him a smile. Uh, and then I draw the bow tie. Stuart always wears a bow tie. Um, I had a student who wore a bow tie sometimes. I don't, I don't know if I got the idea from that student or if I always just kind of knew I wanted a character in a bow tie. Uh, Stuart loves to bring really interesting things to share for show and tell in class. Um, draw his finger pointing. Um, he thinks he's really smart. I think he's really smart too, but um, there's lots of different ways to be smart. All right, there's Stuart. So even though he's a mouse, he is still, in my eyes, human. Uh, 
he's going to say something here like, let's just have him say, brilliant. There's Stuart. Next, we're going to draw Lola. Lola is a giraffe. I start with the horns on the top of her head. And she's got ears that kind of go off to the side. And then a long nose with a couple nostrils a smile. Let's give Lola some eyes. Maybe she's looking up at her name. Uh, long neck. And then it just comes to a shirt collar. Uh, I draw some spots on the edge of her neck to, to know for sure that she's a, supposed to be like a giraffe. And then um, let's draw, let's give Lola a t-shirt. I need to make sure I have room to draw her whole body here, and I think I do. Uh, and then, you know, the rest of her body is like a normal kid, right? Um, oh, let's give her a like rain boots though. Sometimes she wears rain boots. She is tall. Um, her rain boots could have stripes or polka dots. And then she wears a shirt in snow day that says, I care. Because like an empathetic person. She cares about things in the world and wants to make a difference. Alright, that's how you draw Lola. Cool. Next up is one of the bird characters. This one's named Noah. Uh, he always wears a hoodie over his head. Um, and he's got a bird beak. And how you draw that shape, it's kind of challenging. Uh, there's a hook, beak. Uh, to draw his hood, it's just like Aziza. You draw uh, the en encapsulating kind of shape around his eyes and his mouth. And then you draw another line around it like that. And now he's got his hood on. Um, Noah is kind of shy and quiet he's actually really like a funny and brilliant kid um now let's he's not not very athletic um i'm gonna draw his arms coming down here but he loves to have fun he loves to play um yeah i messed up his hand uh so there's his hoodie uh, i could draw some draw strings some pockets and then um, let's just have them kind of just stand in there two rectangles going down again this is how i draw feet just kind of oval shapes and that's how you draw noah um, maybe he's thinking something like uh, i'm gonna climb that tree because there's a tree that he really misses and wants to climb and Lucky stars. As you notice, I do the words before I do the speech balloon. That way you know you have enough room for the words. That's how you draw Noah. All right, now we're gonna draw Oscar. Oscar is Samson's best friend I'm going to draw his eyes first, two circles with dots, uh, and then a bridge between the top of his eyes and kind of like mouse ears. I don't know what kind of animal Oscar is, but he's kind of got a bear face, like a muzzle like a bear, and then some little tufts of hair off the side and the back. Let's give him a frown. I'm sorry, Oscar, but I haven't given anyone a frown yet. And well, Oscar really doesn't like to dance and he's got a teacher who's telling him he has to dance. Uh, that's what happens in field trip. Uh, don't worry, Oscar, Mr. Wolf's not gonna make you do it. 
I'm going to put his hand on his hip. And what is his other hand doing? I don't know. Let's just uh, let's just go with an easy one. Let's just put it up like this. And maybe he's mad, so he's got a fist. He's shaking his fist. Ooh, you know what? That makes me want to play with the eyebrows a bit. I don't always draw eyebrows. Um, but you can use them as expressive, emotive uh, parts of the face. Um, almost done with Oscar. Oscar is one of my favorite characters. Um, I would like to do a whole story about Oscar someday. That would be cool if I get the chance. All right, there's Oscar. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to give him a little sad little tear, too. Maybe he's he's really mad at um, a bee that's flying around or something. I don't know. That's how you draw Oscar. Next, we're going to draw another bird character. This one is named Lizzie. I like Lizzie a lot. Um, I, got, I got it wrong before. I think I put Lola in the shirt that Lizzie wears. Uh, the I Care shirt. So I'm going to fix that in this one. Um, but sometimes friends wear the same clothes, right? You ever worn the same thing that one of your friends wore on purpose? A coordinated outfit day. Um, so Lizzie is kind of like a toucan in a way. She's got a stripe on her beak. Uh, so she's some kind of like you know, parrot or something. Uh, I'm going to just keep both of her hands down. Uh, she's like eagerly anticipating something. She's like, oh, I'm so excited. Uh, giving Lizzie some pants. Because people wear pants. Lizzie especially wears pants and shorts. Uh, let's give her the I care shirt too. Uh, I, let's have it say really care. I almost ran out of room for the Y. And that's how you draw Lizzie. Now let's draw Bobby. Um, Bobby is a bear kind of character. Um, so two kind of mouse ears on the top of the head and then a round face. Uh, triangular nose. Let's give him like a kind of confused face. Uh, and I'm going to put Bobby in a hoodie. So I'm just drawing like the collar of his shirt and then the hood going around. Um, and then uh, let's just have his arms to the side. Like he's reading something almost and he doesn't understand it. Or it's like, what? We get extra recess today? Really? Uh, I'm going to put Bobby in some shorts. Uh, legs coming down, just kind of noodle legs. As you can see, I don't really have a lot of variety to shoes and pants. Uh, but let's give Bobby a camouflage hoodie. Um, I'm just drawing these little organic shapes, these little squiggles. And that to me indicates he's got like a camouflage hoodie. Um, you could color the different sections differently, or you could add textures or just leave it the way it is. Um, so sometimes I just add some like stripes or some dots. Stripes in one way indicate that it's a different kind of color or texture. Um, if you want to add, you know, that variety to the to the shirt. All right, that's Bobby. Oh, you could also, I don't usually do it, but you could also add little lines there, maybe a thing like that. I didn't write his name yet. Whoops. Bobby, also known as Robert, but nobody calls him that. All right, next let's draw Miguel. Uh, oh, I need to write his name. Miguel started out as, a, as an animal I wasn't really sure 
I wasn't sure what he was. So in the first Mr. Wolf's Class book, his, his face is a little maybe longer than it is in other books because uh, I wasn't sure yet. But now you can, te you can maybe tell what he is. He's kind of supposed to be a koala. So koalas have these big black noses. Um, let's give Miguel, uh, let's give him a hoodie, a zip up hoodie. I'll draw the zipper. And let's give him a backpack. I haven't drawn a backpack on anyone yet. And when I draw backpacks, I kind of start with these um, shoulder straps. And then do one arm up. Let's do the other arm up too. My arms are just noodles or elbow shapes, right? Like almost like elbow pasta. You see that L shape? You can bend them and make them kind of noodly, but uh, just know that it's I, I it's it's a flexible shape. It's not like perfectly anatomically correct. Um, give Miguel some pants. Um, maybe some hiking shoes. We could do some like that. Looks kind of weird. Almost looks like um, soccer cleats. Maybe they are. Maybe they're football cleats or something. They look like baseball cleats or something because they have those spikes on the bottom. But anywho, that's Miguel. Next, let's draw a character that doesn't get a whole lot of attention. This is Johnny. Johnny is a cat, just like Randy, just like Abdi. The thing about this cat is he's got a black patch on his left, over his left eye. And I just kind of fill that shape in. Um, let's give Johnny a t-shirt. I think of Johnny as being kind of like kind of a snappy dresser. He dresses in kind of cool clothes sometimes. I'm going to give him the peace sign, which is tricky to do. Uh, and uh, I'm going to give him like kind of a textured shirt in a second, but let's uh, let's give him pants. But yeah, Johnny's the kind of kid who is he's gonna wear shoes that kind of match the rest of his outfit. Um, I'm gonna draw kind of like a pattern just with these kind of T shapes. And maybe his pants, you could color him in. Maybe he's wearing like an all red outfit or I don't know. Anyway, that's Johnny. I, in the first Mr. Wolf's class book, I did some, I think some whiskers for Johnny. And then I just stopped because I think it was kind of hard to draw him on the sides. Um, but that's how you draw Johnny.